So LiveRail is a video advertising platform that focuses very specifically on publishers. We offer publishers the tools and technology and services that enable them to manage and monetize their video inventory at scale. And it's been that focus on publishers that has really allowed us to actually grow as uh, quickly as we have over the last few months. We found that publishers are really craving the tools and controls and technology similar to what they have in display on the video side. And once you provide them that sort of comfort level that their inventory is going to be uh, sold to the rules that they put in place, they're very happy to work with us and start putting their inventory out uh, for purchase. And if you, if you needed to put us in, in a box in uh, one of the Loom Escapes, you can call us a video SSP. We sit between buyers and sellers and we enable buyers to come in and purchase inventory from our publishers. And we do that through real-time bidding technology. So a two mogul, for example, is a DSP focused on video. They can come in and they can access our entire pool of inventory um, and then buy those impressions in real time if it meets the needs of their advertiser. That's on the buy side. On the supply side of the equation, publishers can control what slices of inventory they put out to the market and sell those inventory slices at certain prices at, with certain rule sets that they create. You have to be, I think, living under a rock to not be aware of the trends in multi-platform media consumption in your own lives or if you pay attention to any data, Tablet usage is on the rise. Video usage on tablets is a massive percentage of overall tablet usage. So what I'm here to talk about today is how publishers should be thinking about their video inventory and how they can take advantage of this trend as audiences begin to consume content across multiple devices. It's no longer as easy as thinking about your user as one guy in front of a browser. You now have a user who's sitting either at an Xbox, on a mobile phone, a tablet, like an iPad, and it's the same user, different user experiences in each context, and publishers need to really think about how they best monetize that, uh, that new context. LiveRail enables publishers to monetize their audience across all channels. We provide them a single UI that allows them to look at their inventory, whether that's inventory uh, that's on web browser, mobile phone, iPad, Xbox, Roku, whatever, whatever device. We're de device agnostic we enable publishers to serve throughout that entire ecosystem. There are really two things that we're extremely excited to announce. The first, we are going to be the first in video advertising to offer up DLID in video. DLID is a way that buyers can connect with supply in a programmatic way and orchestrate what we call a direct deal. So we're extremely pleased to be the first in market with a video DLID product. But also, we've got a publisher tool that's uh, enabling uh, publishers to sell their audiences via OCR. So Nielsen has released a, a new standard called on Online Campaign Ratings, OCR. And our tool enables publishers to look at their audiences through that same OCR lens that Nielsen has created. As you might have seen, we're, we're actually right behind Google. Um, yeah, it's not a bad place to be, second place to Google. You know, we come in every day and we think about how we can better serve our publishers and we believe and we hope that in time that will continue to allow our business to grow. And, but, you know, we don't pay too much attention to the numbers. It's a, it's a great list to be on. If you can be on it, we're happy to be on it. But actually we focus more on just taking care of our publishers on a day in, day out basis. We recently opened up our European operation. We have a general manager and a number of people on our team uh, working out of the UK. And we're really excited about the prospects of international in Europe as well as in APAC. We think that while this multi-platform trend, you know, we're talking about it here in New York City, it's equally uh, prevalent overseas. As a matter of fact, one of the case studies I'll be presenting is for a uh, De Telegraph, uh, largest newspaper in the Netherlands. Their mobile traffic went from zero or five percent a couple of years ago to almost 30 percent of their traffic coming from mobile. We feel we're in a great position to help those international publishers make the most of this opportunity as well.